It's new Kinex back in part three of old hardware, new operating system, new distro, you know what I'm saying? This time we're gonna give Linux Lite a go. As you can see, we're all loaded up on the old machine. It's the old machine, yes, depending for three gig, one gig of RAM only. Oldie wildy NVIDIA graphics card. I think there's a new fan actually, it's gonna be a bit noisy, I'm not sure if you can hear it in the background. Right, Linux Lite's based on Ubuntu 1204 LTS, okay. So, yeah, it should be ugly door because there's no Unity in there for a start, or there's no known free for a start, and there's no KDE. Comes with XFCE 410, a custom version by Valt, you know, Mr. V from Down Under. Yes, indeedy, it's his baby. So I thought we'll give this one a go on an older machine just to see if it's any good at using it, because it's no good saying if it's Linux Lite, if it's not light, light. Or is it light? Or light, 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 light. Okay, I'm installing all the other bits and bobs in it. <clears throat> I'll show you. I'll, I'll go through it quickly with you because I've done the beta a while ago. I haven't actually done the full release because I was sort of doing half term stuff, I don't remember. But anyway, I've installed all the updates. It's all done by LX Terminal. That's all on Gidori. I don't need to go in there, but XFC panel settings, it's all there. Install Move software, which takes you to Synaptic, by the way. Go straight to Synaptic. So if you're doing some programs, make sure you get the GUI version because some of you won't know how to use the. LX Terminal version. Okay, uh, got an NVIDIA driver working. It's the 173 again. It's not giving me any problems whatsoever, especially even flash playback. So I was quite, you know, mm, nice. Mm, yeah, lovely, lovely. Okay, under accessories, you don't actually get too much, but you don't actually need too much. Remember, it is over the CD size. You would the DVD to burn it or put it onto a USB stick using DD if you so wish to do so. I'm going to quickly open up the task manager for you at the moment. As you can see, we're using around about 25% of our uh, CPU and memory. We're only using 150, 160 gigabytes, uh, sorry, gigabytes, what a plonker, megabytes of our memory. We're using no swap. That's very, very similar to Ubuntu, which it should be, really. Well, the Ubuntu version was, remember, 12.1064 bit. This is only a 32 bit. But everything is working hungry, dory, super dupery, and stuff like that. I'm going to go to a bat, just tell you about it, yeah. See what it be. Okay, yeah, but that's working all nice. Remember, I am recording at the same time. So, nicey, nicey. I did have a problem, well, I still have got a problem with the network manager says it's not working. It's just been disabled. It is actually working. Obviously, if you've got wireless, there is wicked, wicked jungle. It's massive in the menu. Oh. And the graphics, we get Gimpage. Okay, so I'm going to load a bit of Gimpage up for a start. Might as well do it all at once, mightn't we? Yeah, have a good go at doing it. Or doing it, even. And then I'm going to open up my other window. And we're going to open up the browser up, okay? Get a bit more browsing going down. We're going to go to the Linux Distro Community. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Just take to the site. You can get it from here. You can get it from Distro Watch. You can, well, you can get it from Softpedia, actually, if you know what I'm saying. Yes. Or you go to download here. Dun -dun 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 and off you go, and in you go, and super duper, and off you go. It's all there, it's all there, babies. It's all there, yeah. So that works, anyway. What else should I open up? I'll tell you what. There is no Abbey Word as such here. You just get bits of LibreOffice. So I'm going to open up LibreOffice as well, and then I'm going to open up the system monitor again, and we'll have another look, see what it's using, okay? So we've got three applications open here, so it should be nice and super. Bearing in mind we're recording at the same time, I keep saying that, don't I? So if I go to System and Task Manager, there we go, and quick look. We're now using, we're still not using no CPU and only a little bit more memory. No big deal, really. So it's actually working rather nice. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Let's load that down. Right from here, we just go to here, here, here. We're going to run a video from YouTube, okay? Just to see what we're running there. I'll keep closing down the system once. I should leave it open, really, shouldn't I, when I think about it? I'll put me in so we don't break any laws. Put a bit of me in because I'm already there. Dum, 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 dum. And we'll try running it in Vidvo, okay? So we're in Vidvo, we've got a recording, we've got Gimpage open as well, and we're going to play a video. It's on an old machine that could be up to 10 years old, okay? Because this chip was first brought out in 2002, 2003, as far as I remember, okay? As far as I remember. And as far as I'm concerned, the playback there isn't too bad, bad should I say. Now remember, I'm only recording at 15 or 16 frames a second just because it's an old machine. You can do high if you want, it does work. I used to run this sort of machine years ago when I first started. And it's, you know, it does the job, 
but it will take you longer to do it at the end of the day. But as far as I'm concerned, that video is playing back nicely and I've got all the applications running. So which means Linux Lite would also be okay for a single core machine of this era. So you don't have to go and chuck it away. Giving pictures there. Lovely. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So on the whole so far, we've tested three so far. Zorin OS 6 core run fine, but I think there's a main drawback because it still runs a bit of GNOME 3 in the background, really, doesn't it? As a fallback mode, as far as I'm aware, I think this is what's holding it back slightly. Although it is reasonably fast, it wasn't super, but it did the job. But XFCE seems to be doing really, really, really well at the moment in these test comparisons. And this is the whole idea of doing this series, to see what distros you can use for an older machine. I have got an even older machine in the background here. It's an older chip, right? I might give it a go, and we might run some really, really thin stuff on there. I don't know yet, we'll just see how we go for the time being. Right, for the next, after this one, Linux Lite, okay, it's gonna be a tick. So that's Zubuntu's a tick, and Linux Lite's a tick. We're also going to try Debian, Bodhi, and some others as well, okay, before the end of the week. Hopefully we'll get about seven or eight distros down, and we'll see how we go. We can make your mind up in a day. But for the moment, it looks like XFC is the desktop environment to use, as far as we're aware, which I knew was going to be that anyway. But I like XFC anyway. It's one of my faves of the faves. So that, part three, out of the way. Sneaky of the Linux, going out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.